Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a great tool that a reader of my Practical EdTech newsletter just sent to me, and that tool is called Classroom Screen. I can't believe I had never used it before. It's pretty darn cool. You'll find it at classroomscreen.com. You can sign up for free like I just did using my Google account. You can also sign up using your Microsoft account. And here's what it does. You can see we have all these little tools that are available to us that we can keep on our classroom screen, which is kind of like our home screen for classroom management tools. Let's, for example, choose random name and we can go here and put in a list of names that are going to be in our random name selector. And we can see here, we can have up to 100 names in this. Click on choose and it will pick one of the random names. And we can keep reusing it over and over again. And we can go over here and just leave it up on our screen. We'll see here, we also have some options if we want to remember chosen students and enable animations and sounds. We can turn those on or off and play around with background colors if we want as well. Now, we can also put other things on the screen that we're going to use including this cool little sound level that we can use to show our students visually how loud the classroom is getting. And of course, we can adjust the sensitivity of that and make it more sensitive or less sensitive or just kind of leave it in the middle right there. And we can even set an alarm, as you can see, for when we get too loud. And that alarm will go off. So we can use that. And you can see we have other options down here, like a countdown timer. We can use traffic lights. We can have traffic lights. And again, we can adjust those things as well, including the background colors. I can use this timer. I can adjust that timer. Again, I can adjust the settings here and choose the colors. And we go over here. We can go here and add more time or take away time. Maybe I just want to have a 40 second timer or a 30 second timer. And now I've got one right there, a little countdown timer. I can pause it as you can see as well. If I want to remove that, I can remove it and replace it with a stopwatch. And we can clear that off and hey, we can remove that one and put other things up there like dice to randomly roll we can change the background if we like let's say i want to put in this picture of uh, the mountains instead of right, instead of that squirrel that i had although the squirrel was kind of fun we can put some text here and a little reminder for our students remember to follow the lab instructions in the order in which they were written and let's move that note right to the center of the screen and again if i want to take that off just close that out if i need a drawing tablet well guess what i've got a quick little drawing tablet here where i can do a little math and if i want to clear it off well just hit that little trash can and we can delete that one as well Need a QR code to get to this screen? Well, there it is. Just put, put that up on your screen and students can scan it and go right to this particular screen. And we can see there, we have some other options available, including our background, which I just showed you. We've got a clock, we've got a calendar. So we can show the calendar on the screen and we can close that out if we don't need it at all. Now, over here on the right-hand side, let's go to our settings let's give this a name call it mr burns home screen this is for mr burns history classes 
Now we can put in a local background picture by uploading our own. We can change, change that background out as we see fit. And then we hit the home button. And there we can see all of our screens and you can have three screens for free. So that's classroomscreen.com. There are more features you can dive into if you have a paid account, but the free account is pretty darn handy on its own. Again, thanks to Aaron for pointing this out to me as a response to my Practical EdTech newsletter. And if you want to subscribe to my newsletter, just click the link right down below. And as always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.